Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kevin, East Cape Skiffs. Behind me, got two good things. First of all, 2016 Evo with a really well-known captain, Captain Bruce Char. We're excited to have him on board. For those of you that do not know who he is, he's been in the Keys for a long time guiding, over 20 years. Um, he's well-loved, well-respected in the industry. I've known of Bruce for a long time. We met him uh, almost about a year ago through interaction on his quest for a new boat. He's been with another brand and another company for 24 years before making the switch. So that's not something you do, you know, easily and you just don't jump around. Bruce has been with companies for a long time. We're excited to have him on board with us. He's, uh, he's just a great individual and he can actually talk. He'll be talking a little bit, but let's talk a little bit about the boat. Evo, 17.9, max beam, 79 inches. Remember, there's a lot going on with the boat from the tapered to the performance bottom, to the rake, meaning the bow high, to the round transom, to the layout of the boat. Now, most guys that we deal with, they're weekend warriors or hardcore anglers, but we do have a small select group. And at East Cape, we would rather have quality than quantity when it comes to captains. We just don't take any Tom, Dick, or Harry. So I will tell you that having Bruce on board is a good thing. We met him on Oceanside Memorial Weekend of last year. First thing we did is he jumped in the boat, said, do you mind if I drive? I said, not a problem. He scooted me out of the way and we ran out to the ledge on Oceanside to where it actually dropped off, shut the motor off, got up on the boat and it was rocking, but he wanted to see how the boat would handle, post it up for tarpon or permit or bonefish. And he was surprised. Then we took it inside Tavernier Creek did some pulling around, did some spinning. He hit reverse and walked to the corners and things like, oh, the boat doesn't go underneath. You know, when I walk to the corner and oh my God, the live well is huge. The transom is rounded. These are things that he's wanted that he was looking out there at other people. He found it here. Um, he brings a wealth of knowledge. His last boat was tricked out, decked out. Same thing here. First of all, going on the color scheme, we did a blackout package. He wanted to go for as much weight savings as possible, and he's friends with a lot of people in the industry. Uh, Joe at Carbon Marine did the carbon fiber accent. So he did the platform, he did the grab handle, he did the oversized casting platform for a stripping bu bucket. He's friends with the guys at Renzetti, so he did the Renzetti holders, but he also powder coated them orange because he's also a pro staffer with Sims. So he's got the Sims color scheme going on as well. Then he has the blue live well, that is not plumbed, but just for storage. But then he did a crustacean well actually on the port side that he'll use for shrimp and crabs when those days do call for it because he's, I would say 80% fly, 80% fly, 20% the forgiveness days. He has his trolling motor set up, removable underneath his seat. And so he has all his access, his console. Notice this guy doesn't have a GPS because after 20 years down in the Keys, he knows where he's going, okay? Then we have rod holders going frontwards and backwards. We have an oversized tank. We have, you know, the obvious, the hatch and a hatch. We have the custom elevated fly line tow rails. This is for clients, not just for windy days, but keeping them on board. Offset trolling motor so he can see for those days he actually needs to use it. He's still old school and does a lot of pushing, but the days sometimes call for it, so he has it. Blacked out trailer, mag wheels, satin finish, electric winch so he can launch off the side of the road if he wanted to on US-1 like the old traditional billboard flats in South Matacumbi. The winch helps it get it on. Again, going back to Bruce, I can't tell you enough guys, it's when a guy's been with somebody and a certain style boat for 24 years and then makes a jump to something else, that's a huge statement. All Kevlar build by the way, we're not talking about just a piece of Aramid and saying made with Kevlar. We're talking about inside, outside of the hull, the deck, the hatches, the console, all done. So this is a tool to him. This is how he makes his money. This is his office. It's his living. This is how he provides for his family. So it's not something he easily made that decision. But when he went out on the boat and he saw the boat, toured the shop, talked to customers of ours, like the guys at Blackfly Lodge who also make a living out of it. That's what swayed him and got him on board. So I say it all the time on this broken record, 
You owe it to yourself to check us out. Also, you owe yourself to see this boat in action. You have the opportunity to fish with them. Bruce, what's your website and information? Uh, BruceChard.com and uh, CaptainPermit at AOL.com is my email address. Phone number? 305-240-1335. Yeah, all the information is online. The only okay. question I'm going to ask him on, on the spot here. <laughs> Sorry to do this, but yeah. what do you like about the Evo? Well, for four years, Kevin, I looked for a boat that was comparable to uh, the Dolphin Super Skiff that I fished out of for 24 years. But I just wanted more storage, better deck organization, and the ability to carry two uh, heavier customers along with myself, a little more weight in the boat. And okay. still have uh, the ability to cut and dice through the uh, the heavy waves, and also pull quietly. Those are two main things. And I looked for four years throughout the entire industry. I had a really hard time finding a boat that I liked that serviced all that until I met the Evo. And I'm telling you, that one morning we went out, it was blowing 25 miles an hour. And the very first wave we hit, yep. I said, I'm buying this boat. It yep. took me 10 seconds. Yeah. And then when I pulled it into the wind at 25 miles an hour and held us with one one arm, I said it's done. And and yeah. I, I, I can't wait to fish this boat. I'm so psyched. And I'm telling you, yeah. this is going to be the boat that's going to take over the entire flats boat industry. This is you guys hear it. You're hearing it. This is strong. And by the way, I'm going to tell you something. That was the first and last time I went out in big water. Because I'll be honest with you, I wasn't used to going out in swells. And I'm not talking about where you're just rocking. I'm talking about where we were disappearing. We were at offshore boats weren't uh, even outside. It was a small craft wind advisory. I'll also tell you that uh, we did get wet. Because with 30 mile an hour winds, you're going you're gonna to get some spray. But the reaction I got from a guy that's been 24 years on a certain style boat, and it does it every day, day in and day out, and travels the world and has been on everything, it, was, it meant a lot to us for all our hard work because we spent about two and a half years on this boat. So, again, quality, not quantity. We're glad to have you, brother. You guys owe it to yourself to check us out and also check out Captain Bruce Chard. Y'all take care. Thank you so much. See ya.